Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 is equal to 10 a squared b squared. Our job is to find all possible values of a plus b over a minus b. So let's start. This a to the power 4 can be written as a squared whole squared plus this b to the power 4 can be written as b squared whole squared is equal to 10 times a squared b squared. By using this algebraic identity x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to x plus y whole squared minus 2xy. This expression at the left hand side can be written as uh, a squared plus b squared whole squared minus 2 times a squared b squared is equal to this 10 times a squared b squared. Next, a squared plus b squared whole squared is equal to 10 times a squared b squared. This negative 2 a squared b squared will become plus 2 a squared b squared. Next, a squared plus b squared whole squared is equal to 10 plus 2 will become 12 times a squared b squared. Now we take square root of both sides. This square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left hand side we are left with a squared plus b squared is equal to plus or minus. This 12 can be written as a square root of 12 can be written as 4 times 3. In this uh, a squared b squared can be written as uh, a b whole squared. Next a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to plus or minus this will become root 4 times root 3 times root a times b squared. Next a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to plus or minus root 4 will become 2 times root 3. This uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and here we are left with a times b. Now again by using this algebraic identity this uh, a squared plus uh, b squared will become a plus b whole squared minus 2ab is equal to plus or minus 2 times root 3 times ab. We move this in negative 2ab to the right hand side then this will become a plus b whole squared is equal to this negative 2ab will become positive 2ab plus minus 2 times root 3 times a b. Next a plus b whole squared is equal to we can factor out 2 a b from these two terms. So 2 times a b as common factor in bracket left 1 plus minus root 3. Let us call this equation equation 1. Now from the original equation Original equation is uh, a to the power 4 plus uh, b to the power 4 is equal to 10 a squared b squared. The original equation is uh, a to the power 4 plus uh, b to the power 4 is equal to 10 times a squared b squared. This a to the power 4 can be written as uh, a squared whole squared plus this b to the power 4 can be written as a b squared whole 
squared is equal to 10 times a squared b squared. By using this algebraic identity x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to x minus y whole squared plus uh, 2 times x y. This expression at the left hand side will become a squared minus b squared whole squared plus 2 times a squared b squared is equal to 10 times a squared b squared. We move this 2 a squared b squared to the right hand side then this will become a squared minus b squared whole squared is equal to 10 times a squared b squared minus 2 a squared b squared. Next a squared minus b squared whole squared is equal to 10 minus 2 will become 8 times a squared b squared and from here we take square root of both sides. So, this uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and at left hand side we are left with uh, a squared minus b squared is equal to plus or minus square root of this 8 can be written as uh, 4 times 2 times uh, this a squared b squared can be written as uh, a times b whole squared. Next a squared minus b squared is equal to plus minus this will become root 4 times root 2 times root a times b squared. Next a squared minus b squared is equal to plus minus this root 4 will become 2 times root 2 and this uh, square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and here we are left with uh, a times b. Let us call this equation equation 2 and equation 1 is equation 1 is uh, a plus b whole squared is equal to 2 a b times uh, 1 plus minus root 3. Equation 1 is a plus b whole squared is equal to 2 times a b times 1 plus minus root 3. This is equation 1. Now, we divide equation 1 by equation 2. So, this will become left hand side of equation 1 is a plus b whole squared divided by left hand side of equation 2 is a squared minus b squared is equal to right hand side of equation 1 is 2 times a b times 1 plus minus root 3 divided by right hand side of equation 2 is plus or minus 2 times root 2 times a b. Now, this a plus b whole squared can be written as a plus b times a plus b divided by and this a squared minus b squared can be written as a plus b times a minus b is equal to this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and this a b will be cancelled out with this a b and uh, at right hand side we are left with uh, 1 plus minus root 3 divided by root 2 and we have plus minus with this root 2. Now, this a plus b will be cancelled out with this a plus b and at left hand side we are left with uh, a plus b divided by a minus b is equal to from the right hand side we get uh, four combinations. The first one is uh, 1 plus uh, root 3 divided by pi
positive root 2 and the second is 1 plus root 3 divided by negative root 2 and the third is 1 minus root 3 divided by positive root 2 and the fourth one is 1 minus root 3 divided by negative root 2. Now, first we rationalize the denominator of this expression. So, this will become 1 plus root 3 divided by root 2. We multiply and divide by root 2. So, in the numerator we are left with root 2 times 1 will become root 2 plus root 2 times root 3 will become root 6 divided by root 2 times root 2 is 2. Now, we rationalize the second expression. Due to this negative sign, this positive 1 will become negative 1. This positive root 3 will become negative root 3 divided by root 2. To rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide by root 2. So, root 2 times negative 1 will become negative root 2. And root 2 times uh, negative root 3 will become negative root 6 divided by root 2 times root 2 will become 2. Now, we rationalize the denominator of uh, this expression. We write this 1 minus root 3 over root 2. We multiply and divide by root 2. So, this will become root 2 times 1 root 2 minus uh, root 2 times 3 root 6 divided by root 2 times root 2 will become 2. And in the last we rationalize the denominator of this expression. Due to this negative sign, this uh, negative root 3 will become positive root 3. And this positive 1 will become negative 1 divided by root 2. And to rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide by root 2. So, this will become root 2 times root 3 will become root 6. And root 2 times negative 1, negative root 2 divided by root 2 times root 2 will become 2. So, we get uh, four solutions of uh, a plus b over a minus b. This is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one, this is the fourth one.